good morning South Africa. This is the Daily News Wrap for Wednesday, 19th May, 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, the abrupt termination of the 350 rand social relief of distress has left many people who were relying on the money extremely desperate. On Tuesday, we spoke to people at grant payment sites in Nelson Mandela Bay about their ongoing struggle to get the grant. Tobani Mapangwana said that the South African Social Security Agency, SASA, had not paid his grant since he applied last year. He said he has been sent from pillar to post by SASA officials in Motherwell each time he went to inquire about his application. But according to SASA's records, Mapangwana only applied in February 2021. In response to the case, Eastern Cape SASA spokesman Luzuko Kina said he did apply in February this year and his application was approved. Their office has been trying to get a hold of him to upload his preferred method with no avail. Meanwhile, we all know people who have been banned on social media platforms for reasons ranging from posting nude photos, harassment and copyright violations to the spreading of fake news. Some social media platforms, including Instagram and Twitter, released transparency reports, enabling a great level of trust between the platforms and their users. These reports detail their bans, content deletion, and more. The current conversation about the online harassment championed by footballer Thierry Henry led online experts at Reboot SEO Agency to analyze their reports and reveal which social media platforms had had the biggest increase in content violation. Instagram was the social media platform with the biggest year-on-year increase in content removal in 2020. More of this on the SouthAfrican.com. In other news, just a day after a Limpopo teacher appeared in court for alleged rape of a female pupil, another educator faces a similar fate and is believed to be on the run. The alleged incident occurred on Friday, 14th May, and was subsequently reported to the district. The alleged victim is a grade 10 student from Umkele Secondary School in Ivory Park, Midrand. A case of rape was opened on Saturday. However, the teacher is yet to be arrested as he is believed to be on the run from the authorities. In your sports, Orlando Pirates coach Joseph Zinber is uncertain if star man Thirin Kosti Loch will pay any part in the club's CAF Confederation Cup quarterfinal against Raja Casablanca on Sunday, 23rd May. Orlando Pirates were held in a 1-1 draw at the Orlando Stadium last Saturday with Vincent Pule on target for the Bacchanas late in the first half. Unfortunately for the home side, they considered an all-important away goal when Ben Malango found the back of the net on the hour mark. More of this on the SouthAfrican.com. Meanwhile, decorated protest bowler Jason Evans delivered a thrilling final bowl of the 2021 National Men's Championship in Cape Town. Jason Evans, who skipped 18-year-old Luan Kronji, claimed the pair's gold medal in dramatic fashion on Sunday as he sealed victory with his fourth and final bowl of the match. The pair's final was the last match out of the greens, and it was a titanic battle as the Roosevelt Park duel were kept in check by the young Stella Park pair of Wayne Roberts and Dion Oddy. For the latest bowls news, please visit the South African website. In your weather today, Bloemfontein is a sunny 23 degrees, Cape Town comes at 19, Pretoria is a fine 23, and Johannesburg is 21. That's all the news you really need to know from the South African today. Subscribe for more of this audio news bulletin straight to your mobile device every morning. And for more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.